What's up guys, in this video we have something pretty cool to unbox. Coasters that look like weight plates. Uh, but seriously, let's head outside and we'll see what we're actually going to be taking a look at in this video. Here is what we're taking a look at today. Uh, if you can't tell what we're taking a look at, which you already know because you've seen the thumbnail, I'll give you a hint. It weighs about 45 pounds, and if you need another hint, in addition to the thumbnail, we're gonna take this down to the basement, and we're gonna take a look. So let's talk about what we got here. Let's uh, unbox it and take a look. What we have here is the Rep Fitness Deep Neural Power Bar EX. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just give some initial impressions along with the unboxing, and then we'll kind of do a workout with it today. I'll give you some impressions after I've had a chance to use it for a few exercises, and then we will use it again tomorrow. We'll do some deadlifts with it, and then I'll give you some uh, more impressions once I get a chance to use it some more. And then we'll follow it up maybe a month or two months from now with more of a long-term actual in-depth review so we're just going to see how it feels in the hand feels on the back that kind of thing in this video so this bar is stainless steel it's fully stainless throughout stainless bar stainless shaft so this is great for a garage gym one of the reasons why i wanted to go with this option is because in a basement environment in a garage gym environment you're going to be dealing with moisture a little bit more than you would say like in a commercial gym where the climate is a little a little more well controlled so with that being the case rust oxidation that's going to be something that you have to consider uh, when it comes to that home gym environment and with a stainless bar that's not going to be quite the concern that it would be if you were just going with a cheaper barbell that's not stainless so like a chrome bar or something like that the knurling on this bar is the most aggressive knurling i've ever experienced on a barbell it is, as the name suggests, it is deep, you know, hence the name. So it is a very aggressive knurling. That's something that you would want to consider if you are a beginner or if you're just someone who doesn't have a lot of calluses on your hands. Uh, it might tear up your hands a little bit, but if that's not something you care about, maybe you want to build up the calluses on your hands or you're uh, more experienced and you have a lot of calluses on your hands already, and that might not be as big of a factor for you. In that case, you might just want the, the extra grip with the knurling uh, so that you can you know, go heavier on certain lifts like your rows and things like that, where it would be a benefit to your grip. So my initial impressions with the knurl, I know some people have some quality control concerns with Rep Fitness and just looking at it off the bat, I don't see any feathering or anything like that. The termination lines for the knurling looks pretty clean all the way around. I'm not seeing any feathering. I'm not seeing any uh, double markings or anything like that. The knurling looks pretty good from what I'm seeing. Uh, so off the bat, it looks like we're good to go. The sleeves spin pretty good. So I'm not seeing any uh, quality control issues. Maybe I can take a picture and throw a picture of the knurling up on the screen so we can get a little bit of a closer look, zoom in on the picture and see if there's any tiny little imperfections. But just to the naked eye, uh, everything looks nice and clean. Termination lines are clean. So, you know, basically what you would expect out of a premium priced barbell. So now that we've kind of taken a look at it, let's, uh, let's jump into a workout and then we'll give you some impressions after that. So I finished my workout, a little bit out of breath, and of course, uh, the irony is the day that I have a new barbell come in the mail is of course uh, the workout of the week that I only have one barbell exercise. So I shifted a, a few things around and that way I could at least get three barbell exercises in there, able to get a little bit more hands-on experience with this bad boy on the first day. And I gotta say, uh, it, it lived up to uh, what I was expecting out of it. Uh, it feels really nice. Uh, there was a slight 
a very, very slight amount of discomfort when holding the bar. If, like I said at the beginning, you are newer, you don't have a lot of calluses on your hands, this bar will be a little bit uncomfortable. So again, just be uh, warned of that. And a couple of things that I noticed while looking at the barbell is in older revisions of the bar, the knurling actually came all the way out to the collar. And I noticed uh, in a couple of reviews that I watched before uh, purchasing this barbell, uh, people did make note of that because with the knurling coming all the way out to the collar, if there was any perfect, uh, imperfection in the manufacturing process at all, and that went just a tiny, tiny bit too far, then there would be some grinding uh, when the collar spins. So I guess they heard that, took that feedback, and then they made the knurling stop just shy of the collar here so that you didn't you won't have that issue and then i also did notice and i'll throw a picture of this up on the screen there is a little tiny 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 bit of uh, feathering right here at the edge of the knurling here but i mean very very small amount i mean i had to really look for it to notice it so like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm, I'm very pleased with the terminations of the knurling. Everything is kind of up to the level uh, that I would expect for a premium uh, barbell. This barbell does go for $379, I believe is what I paid for it, plus shipping. So all in all, around 400 bucks for this barbell. So at a premium, a pretty premium price point, this is kind of the quality that I would expect to get out of this type of barbell. For whatever reason, I feel like there's a lot of people who have it out for rep, and I don't really uh, know why. I know that they can have some quality control issues. When I purchased my AB5100 uh, adjustable bench, I did have a little bit of a warped frame with the first one that came in. So I can see, yes, that, that is true, but they were very eager to swap it out for me. They were very friendly, very, you know, understanding, uh, you know, they weren't jerks that, you know, they didn't want to just try to not replace it or anything. So they definitely wanted to make it right. And they told me to keep using the, the warped one until the new one came in. So it's not like they uh, were trying to be greedy or stingy. They, they owned up to the problem and wanted to make it right as quickly as possible. So all that to say, I know that was a little bit of a tangent. It has nothing to do with this barbell but all that to say my experience with rep has been pretty positive so far the one little uh, mishap in the beginning they swapped it out the next bench that came in was perfect this is the second product that i'm buying from rep unless you count those uh coasters <laughs> over there uh, but the bar you know, very good condition uh, is exactly what i would expect from a premium barbell so I'm very happy with, with the money that I've spent with reps so far. Uh, I will likely buy some more rep equipment in the future. Now I do have deadlifts tomorrow, so we will get another workout in with this bar, and then I will give you uh, some more thoughts after we finish that workout. Just finished up my deadlifts. It wasn't the best uh, deadlift day ever. So if you're wondering why the pads are on the floor, if you'll notice here, uh, these 45 pound plates are not the same diameter and neither of them are standard diameter. They're actually a little bit smaller than they're supposed to be. So that's why the pads are there to give a little bit of extra boost off the floor. So these being different diameters in combination with it being a bunch of mismatched 35s and 25s on the end to make 415, uh, that's kind of what threw me off uh, a little bit. So not the best deadlift day, but that's not the point of the video. Using these for deadlifts, uh, you truly get a feel for how aggressive this knurling actually is. It will 100% tear your hands up if you're not used to a bar like this. If you don't already have pretty thick calluses on your hands, it will tear your hands up. And then I also, I don't have squats today, but I did do uh, just some light squats just to kind of feel it on my back. And this uh, center knurling will dig into your back. It will mark your back up just a little bit. but. If you're used to powerlifting, that's something that you're probably used to already. I would rather have a center knurling that puts a little bit of you know, marking on the back than have a bar that doesn't have good enough knurling. It's too passive and it wants to slide down your back and you're having to wear a grip shirt or put chalk all over your back, all that kind of stuff. So between the two options, I would much prefer this. So it sounds like I'm describing this knurling in a negative way, but I'm saying all that to say, I really, really, really enjoy this knurling. This bar is pretty much exactly 
what I expected and exactly what I was uh, looking to get out of this barbell. So I'm very pleased with the purchase so far. This is a premium priced barbell. It's 379 before shipping. So all in all, it ended up being a little over 400 bucks for me. So that is something to consider. But right now with all the price gouging going on, you're gonna pay close to this much most likely just for a decent barbell. So why not just stick it out, wait to find a good one in stock, and then jump on it whenever you get the opportunity. So I would highly recommend this barbell. I love it so far. We'll see if I continue to like it in the future as much as I like it right now when we follow up with that uh, future in-depth uh, long-term review. But if you are interested in picking this barbell up, I'll include a link to purchase it down in the description below. It is an affiliate link, so if you use the link, it will help out the channel. I actually was supposed to be doing another video in the exercise tutorial series where we're gonna be taking a look at the half kneeling cable chop, but then this came in the mail, so of course I had to jump on doing a review for this thing. So next week, we're gonna be doing the half kneeling cable chop, so be sure to uh, be looking out for that video. If you like the video, give a thumbs up. If you hate it, give a thumbs down. If you want more content just like this, consider subscribing, or you can check out one of the videos that will be up on the screen. You can also check us out on the Trotoway Training blogcast. We're there every Saturday at 3 p.m. at trotowaytraining.com slash blog. As always, God bless you and your family, and we'll see you tomorrow. I did it again. I'll see you Saturday. One day I'll get used to the fact that we're doing videos on Sunday. Ooh. 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 Yeah.